Hi, I'm Rich Eide, and we're here today at Eide Volkswagen, and I've got three Rochester legends here right now, and we're going to be driving in the Volkswagen Arteon. So here they are. Now, I know I said Rochester legends, but this is pretty good, too. We have Steve Hausman, Sandy Waters, and Pat Duffy. Steve came out of his hole he was hiding in for retirement to come ride with me in an Arteon. Well, I've been doing it for 10 years. Yeah. I've been a, you know, it, in the hole? <laughs> <laughs> Coming out of the hole you've been hiding in. Yeah, no, I mean, 10 years with the I family of dealerships, it's always good to see you. Even though I'm a retired, I'm still representing you guys on the B, and it's a thrill to do it. Awesome. Well, let's get in this car. What do you guys think? This is a nice car. What is this? This is a Volkswagen Arteon. Okay, I have a shotgun. <laughs> Get on it. All right. I like how a uh, house called shotgun. Yeah, yeah. Like the know. gentleman that he is. It's okay. House no, there's now. a camera right there. For it's us. right back here. Nothing has room. changed. Did it wrong? Don't yeah. you know, like, you're supposed to be respectful, have the ladies sit? Yeah, I said, I was saying it as a joke. Well, actually, you, you could sit in the front. Yeah, he said it, he totally said it as a joke. That's why he's sitting in front right now. It, Steve wants to I want to drive. Oh, you, you want to drive? No, no, no. We, maybe we uh, just, uh, halfway through this. But so, okay, so you guys are all here. I like this, this car. Great. Dude, I'll, oh, look, look at all, all the space. I'm six foot three and I got space in the back. Well, well you two, you two Volkswagen three. people, I'm a Honda guy. I mean, I love my Honda CRV. As a matter of fact, it just got its service today. Shout out to Jim Malella, the yeah. king over there. Excuse me, I am both a Volkswagen and a Honda guy. I drive my Pilot. My wife has a Volkswagen Atlas, so I am intimately familiar with both of them. No big deal. Ooh, intimately. <laughs> intimately. <laughs> What's your favorite feature? Uh, my wonderful wife driving the car. There you go. Hey, there you go. Hey, can I drive? Yeah, you want to drive? What yeah, this? Yeah, I'm out. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> You love me. Have you ever driven with Houseman before? No, never driven with Houseman. Gosh, we did that once. I have. Yeah. I wasn't sure it was going to end well. <laughs> <laughs> well, how about how you have the most driving experience, Houseman? How are you such a bad house? I do. I think I got the first driver's license ever in Rochester, New York. <laughs> <laughs> I can drive a standard shift. Can you? The so I can I? Don't have to. Is it is it bad that I don't Houseman's know? Got jokes. What is yeah. that? Is what? it bad that I don't know how to drive standard? I never learned how to drive standard. Really? No clue. Yeah, I don't know how to drive standard. My wife really? Can, yeah, is that is that bad? Your wife can drive. My, my wife can. can drive stick, and I can't. That's one uh, more thing she does better than you. Well, <laughs> okay. Wait a minute. Now that's just mean. That was just a mean thing. No, like is that is that like one of those things? Because you don't really have to learn it anymore, right? I don't like think men, not many no. cars no. are stick anymore. All guys I know, though. but uh, it just seems like something you should know. Wait, wait, wait. She just said all the guys I know. What are you trying to say? That's a manly thing to know how to do. Can what? your husband? Can your husband drive a stick? Yeah. Are you yeah. sure? Oh, oh, what happened? How did I walk into that? Have you ever seen him drive a stick? Okay, never mind. Oh, what happened? Oh, I'm so, my manly man that I love so much. My husband might not be able to do it. Oh my goodness. He's got a he's got a dangerous name, but he can't drive a manly stick. I'm Sandy Waters. I'm so cool. Sorry I brought it up. Jeez. Well, if you need to learn how to drive stick, I can help. That, that, you want, we should. That would be a video. Oh. Me teaching Duffy to drive stick. Yeah, it'd be a great video on a loss of one car. <laughs> burn the clutch out, crash into something. Why the heck not? Well, he, he, at least he knows the word clutch. Clutch, yeah, burn the clutch out. You knew you could burn out the clutch. That's step, That's step one. step one. Here, we're really... pulling over here so you can drive house. I want to drive. Oh, God, are we really going to do this? We're really doing it. We're really doing it. Didn't even get fired before. He, uh, Wait a minute. Watch Sandy get out. We'll just leave her here. <laughs> Pick you up in five minutes. Should I record my will into these video cameras? <laughs> yeah, I know. Start just preaching what How's you want. You? Okay. He's getting old. How's his eyesight? Oh my God. You are brutal today. But this is facts. What? This is facts? Dad, those are facts. He's getting older. Okay. Jeez. Well, I mean, you can't all, say that though. We're why not? can't drive because he's old. all getting How? older. Why not? We're all getting older. House, how are your, how are your eyes? Which way to the uh, the uh, AARP office? He, for, he forgot the punchline. That's a problem. That's not good. <laughs> I'm telling you, we are. This is dangerous. Why is it dangerous? I'm a grown ass man. I know how to drive a car. Sandy loves you know? danger. <laughs> Come on, let's That's go. Good one. Oh, you're in reverse. <laughs> Little joke there. Yeah, let's hope so. Little Everyone joke. is laughing. We're having a good time. Yeah. Oh. Laugh, laugh, laugh. I'm going to go here. There's children at play. Now there's children at play. I want to go to the... Fr the filtros plant. The filtros plant. plant. 
Mm, cool. I go there monthly now. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so how have you been doing? Uh, you find anyone to like read the news to or what's going on? No, I, I got up this morning and first thing I said to my wife is, hey, hey Julie, how about Syria? <laughs> She said, you know, go back to sleep. Yeah. That seems like a fun topic to have right yeah, up, up front. Good morning, on. How was your here. sleep? Yeah. Let's talk yeah. about Syria. Yeah. No, you know, I miss people like Sandy. I miss people like Duffy. But I don't miss 3.15 in the morning. Oh. oh I, I, <laughs> you want me to throw? Where are we? I don't know. I said turn left. Right. I, okay. drive. So we do have it on video about how good he was going to be driving, right? As he's yes. getting us lost. Yeah, I can't yeah. help you. Keep going. To, uh, slow you. down. It oh, says bump. speed bump. You're literally. Oh my dear god, god! I'm getting nauseous. Okay. All right. We're good. We're good. good. We're good. All right. I'll go another ten seconds and I'll let someone else. So drive. anyway, this Arteon yeah. is amazing. <laughs> I, yeah. I like it. Even guys like house could drive it. That's right. Yeah, I mean, I you know, I've, I've driven a, 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 an Accord for years. Yeah. I love the Accord. This has, I like the room in this. I like the feel of it all. This is uh, all-wheel drive. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, is it really? Mm -hmm. It's so sleek. I like it. I like it a lot. Like, I feel fancy in this car. Duffy, I just, said, I Duffy <laughs> just said the word sleek. I feel <laughs> fancy. Hey, it never often does a kid from Gates get to feel fancy, but yeah. I feel very fancy in this car. Right, Sandy, you're from the west side, you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm going to turn around in here. No, this, no, this I, guy, I no, no, you're going to crash into that guy. That guy. Oh my God. <laughs> where, Steve is just taking before. us deeper and deeper I know, into... I know. Happy where? Halloween. <laughs> Look, I feel, I feel this is a plan, like all the jokes we made on house, he's just going to drop us <laughs> off of the woods and take off. Let me show you. <laughs> oh, God. All right. All right, I'm going to turn around in here, because I don't think I can go much further. Okay. Yeah. Hey, are there any more speed bumps you want to oh hit? That would be gosh. great. That would be fantastic. Yeah, this car drives real. Yeah, this is, <laughs> I'm really enjoying my boom boom. My ride back there. Oh, Steve, let's put it in river boom boom. <laughs> I love that. I, I did. I'm sorry. I'm so, when I'm sleepy, I snored. I'm sorry. Let's get out of here. All those bumps we hit, we get to hit them again. All right. Woo. Woo. Here we are, we except faster. This is already uh, so nice. <laughs> No, so this is the newest car from VW. Uh, it came out um, earlier this year, mm -hmm. and uh, I love it. I actually got one of the first ones that came off the truck, and been no it. big deal. Yeah, <laughs> I just had one right away. You, you kind of favor Volkswagen, I've noticed. I mean, I, I know, I know, I know, <laughs> I know, but I mean, I understand. You can't it. say that they're all his children. I know that they're yeah, all. Yeah, but people favor their children. Don't you have a favorite? Yes. Yeah. See, House only <laughs> has one kid. Like that's not fair. <laughs> He's putting us all in this. Who? By the way, is an eyed Honda customer. Oh, Excellent. Still driving his, I think it's a, like a 14 Civic, or 15 right? Civic. Yeah, he's got I like 250,000 miles on it. Yeah, wow. I just read a study actually that uh, eye purchases can be genetic, that it just keeps going on and on and on. Sure. Yeah. Well, you know, my dad was that way. He had a dealership when I was growing up in Boston, and he would just go there when he wanted a car. Never had to worry about talking about price. He knew that the people at that dealership would take care of him. And it's all about relationships. I know it sounds silly. But it is all about relationships when it comes to buying a car. That's why, and, well, and work too. That's why we keep hanging out with Sandy. We've had a relationship so long that even though she's super annoying and says mean things, we have to keep hanging out with her. Oh, how about that? Well, that's yeah. the nicest thing I've ever heard you say about yeah, Sandy. Really nice. Wait, you were always nice to me? Did yes. you see the beginning of this? Did you <laughs> not? Were you not in the car for the beginning of what you said? I was making fun of Houseman, not you. You called me a masculine because I can't drive stick. And then realized your husband also can't drive stick. You called me a masculine. You called me a I, was I, was a I will whine if I want to. Don't make me come back. Oh, well, because I questioned uh, why Nana is with you. Uh, um, <laughs> see, this is, this is getting a little too personal. No, but see, here's the thing. Like, we have she to clarify. She's a gorgeous doctor. Right, right, right. Okay. And you are... You. you are you. We have you to clarify me. that Nana is my wife's name because it's going to make it sound like for people that don't know, I'm like married to my grandmother. That's fine. We okay. can let them think what they want. Fine. By the way, not opposed to older women. Danger's married to his grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You are the closest to being a grandmother th than anyone else in the vehicle. Yet your sweater is still oh. older looking than house somehow. <laughs> I thought what? we were a team. We were until you turned on me. I thought we were like the young kids. The young kids? Who? What? Is there a mirror back here that we can pull out for Sandy? You know, the fact of the matter is the youngest person in this vehicle is Rick. I know. <laughs> you know? And you don't and you don't see me going, I'm the young one. Yeah. Everyone, I'm the young one. <laughs> I'm still cool guys, but like you look, look at right. look at my vans. Duffy likes my vans. <laughs> We did talk about this the other day. Okay, let me ask you a question. You know yeah, those van you. Get, a, get a survey right now. You know those van sneakers? Your daughters probably have them? Yeah. Okay, so I wanted to get a pair of van sneakers, but I'm 33 years old, and I told my wife I think I might be too old to wear them, and I said this to Rich and looked down and saw that he was wearing van sneakers. <laughs> so I don't know. Wait. So there's your answer. Wait, you're 33? 
Yeah, I'm 33. So the me being the youngest in the car is not correct. Oh. Okay, so two things there. Yes, when you're wrong. Two, the fact that you looked at me and assumed I was automatically older than you deeply offends me. <laughs> deeply offends me. When you do comedy for eight years on the road, this is what your face looks like, Rich. This isn't my fault. This is tour in the Midwest. Oh, it was awful. Speaking of on the road, this car drives nice. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, you know, seriously, in all seriousness, what I would have given to have anything from the Eid family dealerships while I was touring, driving that piece of crap that I was driving, catch it on fire, smoke billowing out the front of it. I'm just pouring cool into the thing, hoping that's what's gonna help. Hoping it. that's just dumping in. That's another thing that, gosh, Usually men know how to deal with and, you know, maintain their vehicles. Yeah, That's another thing that, like... Man, you got a lot of thoughts on masculinity. Well, really? I have I, no clue what's going on. Okay, yeah. well, fine. No, I just bring it in. No, trust me. Uh, listen, uh, being in the service department, I can uh, say confidently that most people have no idea what's going on with their cars. Thank you. At least I'm smart enough to understand that I don't know. I'm not going to open up the hood and break more stuff. Plus, with all the service I've got at the Ad Family dealership, I don't have to worry about a thing. It's trust, Sandy. You know, one thing I think about all the time, and like I said, I just uh, brought my, my CRV in for some servicing. How come people have doubts that the dealership will do a good job and won't overcharge you? Why, why is that a mindset? Unfortunately, sometimes some places, you know, the reputation came from a couple events that happen at some places yeah. and, you know, it sticks. And, and <clears throat> you're putting a lot of trust in the dealership with your expensive vehicle, something yeah. that you invested a lot financially in. And then we sometimes, unfortunately, come at you and have to say, you know, you gotta get this brake job done or this is wrong and it's usually expensive. And unlike when you buy the car, which is exciting and you can go show your neighbors and, and, and be excited about getting a new car and post it on Facebook, you never see anyone posting like, hey, I just spent this week's paycheck on getting my brakes fixed. Yeah. Look at so, these yeah, look at these, new, look at my new brake pads. I'm so excited. No, it's so it's maintaining a car is not fun. It's not something that you enjoy spending your money on. And so sometimes people like to, you know, it's almost because like since you don't want it to be true, you're like, oh, the dealership's making it up. And I'll, I'll give you a quick example. While I was sitting there, by the way, great waiting room, by the way. Thank you. I had three bananas and two oranges. <laughs> can you tell? Oh my God. Can you tell who's retired in this car? Great waiting room. I ate free fruit. It actually, and it's supposed to be one per customer. Yeah. Also. Well, all right. That aside, I uh, saw hey, some of your service guys. Help me yeah. They're, they're good for you. Did you side by side? I mean, even at the same time, like you a banana submarine it. sandwich? Three bananas, you, you should make sure you drink a lot of water. Ignore them. What happens to your body after three bananas? I walked out while I was sitting in the service area. I heard that. Uh, excuse me. Oh, Steve's rubbing my leg. Well, I was no wonder why he wanted to sit shotgun. Well, I think this might be a side effect of the potassium overdose. <laughs> while I was in the service area. I saw technicians come out three or four times, talk to people who were waiting for service, yeah. and not once did I hear them say, oh, by the way, you're gonna need brakes right now. Right. I didn't see anyone go, what, now? Right. I mean, it, I know it sounds corny, but that's not how you do it. Well, no, they explain well, too why, right? Well, we try and explain it to yeah, you at yeah. the previous appointment. I mean, obviously, with more and more time going between appointments, sometimes things can pop up, but we, we give people the multi-point inspection. We go over the car. We've got that, that green, yellow, red sheet. So, you know, green, you're good, and you should be good next appointment. But when it's yellow, hey, maybe next appointment, you know, plan on this. And we try, we try our best to give people a heads up. Now, obviously, sometimes based on your driving habits, you yeah. know, whether you're, where are you going? I'm going back home. Well, we are at VW. Oh, we're at VW. Oh, I feel so safe. <laughs> For 10 years, I've said just up the road from Eid Honda, and I didn't even know to go just up the road. No, from just Eid up the Honda. road. Anyway. Do you even know how you arrived at VW this morning? I no, but, drove him. But, I had to pick him up at Honda. Did you pick him up? You know, <laughs> sometimes based cool. on yeah. your driving habits, like if you're if you drive like Steve and you're hitting every pothole and every speed bump and you're hitting the brakes and slamming into reverse you might need maintenance more frequently but if you drive like Sandy I mean yeah it takes twice like as long lady, to get like, anywhere but your car's yeah. gonna last longer but old, old lady driver <laughs> I drive I put so many miles on my Volkswagen Atlas you do it is incredible yeah but I see you, your videos all the time with your kids oh or, my god I like how they run the show by the way in yeah. your life Life. Well, that's why she lashes out at us because she has no control at all. Yes, home. well, actually, valid. <laughs> oh, I can relate to that. Hey, we should do this more often. We really should. I can really feel the love between all yeah. you guys. Yeah, I do. This was fun. Yeah, but host, aren't you so busy eating three bananas every day? <laughs> and two oranges. <laughs>
There's a little battle going on in his oh, stomach man. right now. That's I why know. he was in a rush to get back to VW, hitting all those speed bumps. He's got to go. Isn't it's it all a joke? Oh, He's got God. a farmer's market in his jacket right now. <laughs> <laughs> you probably did take some to go to. Oh I didn't my even God. tell you about the waters I took. <laughs> Steve, is that a K cup in I your jacket? <laughs> it's the whole curing. All right. Well, thanks everyone. This was that fun. Was I hope you fun. all still can work together after. Well, not you. I don't but... have to. <laughs> well, thanks everyone for tuning in for this train wreck in the Volkswagen Arteon today. Hope you enjoyed it. Come see us at Eid Volkswagen, and it'll go better than this video, I promise. Guaranteed. <laughs> How do you turn this thing off? <laughs> Clear.